Right, this is New Zealand story on the Nez, originally by Tato in like 1989. Um, Ocean ported it to pretty much every home system. I absolutely love this arcade uh, game back in the day. I mean, I really, really did enjoy it. I got to play it on the Spectrum, and we had a 128K Spectrum at the time, so we had improved sound. And much like this, I do remember the sound being in very small loops and very sort of synthetic and irritating. So no change there then. Right, so basically you're a Kiwi, National Bird of New Zealand. I think your name's Tiki, Tiki. Uh, this is all memory based. And some like wars dude nicks a wee mate and your girlfriend, and you have to go and get it back. Simple controls, jump, fire. Now, no offense to anyone who loves the uh, the NES. I hate the pad. Start already. There we go. Right, jump, fire. Oh, I do remember this. Absolutely rain death down people for such a cute game, you know, you can absolutely spit fire. All your enemies are sort of cutie toys and animals and stuff like that. I don't know if it's all sort of based on New Zealand, but Ooh. Oh, worst bomb worst bomb was gun in the game. There you go. Oh you can slow your descent if you handle the crap out of B. Like I said, this is the first, I've had this for a while, but this is the first time I've played it on the, uh, on the NES. Now, if memory recalls, it is kind of similar to Mario in the sense that, yeah, there's warp zones. But, if you jump, oh yeah, that didn't happen in the arcade. Go on, this weapon. Oh yeah, and you get like a cute little oxygen mass in the water. Can I spit? Yeah, if you jump too high, then you won't sort of go, oh, that's right. You won't go uh, to the warp zone, you just basically go to a platform above. I forgot how annoying I was. I've played this in years. And... Whee! So, what, final stage for a boss, is it? I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? If you can play something like forever, you can still kind of hazily remember a game. Hello? I want to fly. Oh, so apparently I have to be down here for them to spawn. Could be a bit broken. You know, it's, it's pretty good graphics, I'll give it that. I mean, obviously it's better than the Spectrum. Because that's just monochromic. Can I... Ooh. They usually cheat on Spectrum, if you flew underneath a platform you could just jump up into it and not have to fly around. Okay. Oh, it's different. I'm assuming they're spikes. They don't seem to be very well sort of coloured differently from the background. I don't have to shoot for walls. Well, that's got to be a boss stage. Isn't the first one like a frozen whale or something? Yeah, get some of that in your life. Oh, cool. Ooh, easy there, sunshine. Oh, don't want to be down here. Come on, flying thing, please. That could be a bit broken, couldn't it? Alright, well, that little bleed means hurry the fuck up. Or, like, this little death dude comes. Um, can, can I have a flying device, please, game? Oh, I don't need one. Oh, I'm still gonna run out of time. Come on, come on. Eek. That's it, that's it, come on. I remember him being a lot more impressive. I think he's like Joe in the wild. Yeah, he's got to eat you. Yeah, not much room for a maneuver. Oh, come on, die, you bastard. That ain't nice. Don't remember the game being that easy. 
Sorry about that, beer break. Is that rude of me for drinking Australian beer when I'm playing a game about New Zealand? As I recall, it does ratchet up the difficulty. I'm basing this on the arcade and the spectrum, like, like proper metal. Ooh, Indiana Jones shit. Oh, referee. 